Cat on Power 93.3. Welcome, Bozzy. Yeah, thanks for having me. Welcome to Seattle. Yeah. Is this your first time here? I've been to Seattle once when I was like six. Okay. And I didn't like, so now I like love coffee. So I, <laughs> I didn't appreciate it then as I appreciate it now. So, so you were probably excited to come here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. What's the coffee spot? Like, what's a good coffee spot here? Okay, everybody says Starbucks, right? Because it's the yeah, HQ. But, like, I but Starbucks isn't the spot. Yeah. I love Cafe Ladro, and there's one just like a mile away. I'm so I'm go there after this. Yeah, so. yeah, you I'm there. You might have to go. I will. <laughs> I actually promise you I will. I'm oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah. And actually, there's one just down from the Paramount where you're playing tonight. Perfect. Yeah. That's actually probably more ideal because I could get there. Yeah, you could walk. walk it's like a block it. away. Yeah, perfect. perfect. <laughs> so you're uh, at the Paramount tonight with Camila yeah. Cabello, yeah. which is huge yeah. congrats yeah. this is your first big u.s tour yeah 100%. how does that feel it feels so good um i did my first show last night in vancouver and it was so much fun and um i kind of forgot that i haven't performed in almost four years so wow I, I forgot how much i loved it i forgot like what what it felt like to be in front of people you know like leading the energy and you know doing what i love in front of people it um, had to be a different vibe, too, because four years ago, oh my I'm sure you weren't playing oh a venue gosh. like you were at last night. Absolutely not. That's my most people I've played in front of and the most comfortable I've ever felt on a stage, too. You felt really comfortable. Nice. You weren't nervous. No, I felt completely at home, um, which was a cool feeling because I don't like to think too much about things. I like to just kind of go into them because um, it's easier. You know, if I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh, what is it going to be like? Then you build these ex expectations and you let fear get in the way. I just choose to just, like, do them. So I just like got on stage. I was like, "Oh, like this feels great." You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It was amazing. It, it, it's something like it made me kind of fall in love with music again, just in like a different way, which was really cool. Yeah, the performance has to be totally different. So different, and like I don't know. It's just like hearing people sing your words back to you and stuff that means something to you, and you feel that it means something to them. It's just such a cool feeling. Well, mine has blown up. Yeah. Congrats! So that has to be so cool to hear your fans and your audience connect oh, with you like that crazy absolutely crazy how did that happen you know because you've been putting out singles you've performed before obviously and all of a sudden mine just blew up yeah um i don't know it's kind of like a collective of things um it's always pretty random i feel like today's world is so like you know viral it's really quick like when something works people just kind of get it and mm -hmm. like, are either on it or they're not I mean, that's what happened with mine, but I'm so grateful for it. You know, it's turned so many people over to, like, my other music and to me as an artist in general. Um, it's really given me, like, my platform to do what I love and, and um, yeah. It's a buzzword right now. Bozzy is a buzzword. Yeah. People are kind of yeah. talking about you around the office. Who's this guy? Yeah. He's opening for Camila Cabello. And you've got your debut album yeah. dropping on Thursday night. How excited are you? I'm, I'm probably the most excited I've ever been for anything in my life. Really? So more so for the album than for the tour? A hundred percent. Okay. I mean, tour is so cool, but the, the album is, I've been working on it for the last three years of my life. Wow. Um, it's me. It's, I've invested all of myself into it. Um, I'm just excited for people to hear it. Really. Will really. people tonight at the Paramount get to hear any of the album early? Yeah. yeah you yeah, will yeah, be yeah. performing yeah, some. I'm playing, I think I have two, yeah, I'm playing two songs off the album. Cool. First time, or you did them last night in I Vancouver did them last as well. Night. And actually, the first one called Star was like a crowd favorite. Really? Was, and no one knew the lyrics, but everyone was just like hands up, just like rocking with it. It was, it was really. It's cool. a bop. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, we're excited for that Thursday night, and it's just crazy the timing, right? This is a yeah. huge week for you to start the tour, drop the album, and you're going on Ellen soon too, yeah. right? Is that yeah. this week? Ellen is on the 18th. Okay, so yeah. next week. Next week. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's such exciting time. How is your stage presence going to change once the album drops? Like, what are you expecting from this album? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it, it will definitely change in the sense of, you know, fans will just know the music more. Mm -hmm. um, like, yesterday I could tell, like, I was putting on a good show, so they wanted to, like, sing it, but, like, a lot of them just, you know, didn't know me yet, didn't know the songs. Um, I'm excited for them to know it so they can feel a little bit more a part of the show. That's going to definitely change in the element of, like, when mine came on, like, I sung, like, five words the crowd was like, <laughs> screaming every single line you know what i mean so i'm excited for them to uh to probably know the words yeah yeah, yeah. And you've had some big major stars co-sign you taylor swift obviously camila cabello like how is it for you to have that support from artists that you look up to yeah it's really cool um 
I mean, it means a lot, especially someone like Taylor, who, like, I've always respected. She writes all the music, and, you know, she runs her business really well. I've always thought really highly of her, so her, like, you know, looking at someone like me being like, that kid's it, feels really, really good. It's very validating. Yeah. So how do you, who are you listening to right now? Like, who gets you pumped when you're in your dressing room, getting yeah, ready to go on yeah. stage? Um, I honestly listen to a lot of old music. That's, okay. like, pretty much all I listen to. I mean, Prince and Michael Jackson and... Guns N' Roses. I'm really into that whole era. It just it was a really cool time in music, and I want to try and replicate something similar in today's like modern world of just like break free. We haven't been taking like this. Um, so I'm really, really inspired by those guys. Those guys definitely get me amped up. Will that be the vibe to your new album a little bit? No, not like sonically, not like, you know, style-wise, but I'd say like it's the same type of appeal as like Prince had like, you know, a lot of mainstream success, but he never, ever compromised himself as, a, as an artist. You know what I mean? He never did things to, like, for the success. Mm -hmm. He was just huge. Um, and I'm in definitely inspired by that attention. Like, that's something similar I want where I could, like, you know what I mean, be, like, really big without, like, selling out and, and doing things that I don't want to do as an artist, but I know people want. Um, you know, just being, like, the best artist I can be and also, you know, entertain and, and Give as many people a home for music as possible. You still want to be like a regular person. Yeah. Has it been hard at all going out in public? Do people start to recognize you? Has that changed your day-to-day -day life? Yeah, they definitely have, but I wouldn't say it's like hard. Um, it's really easy for me because like I'm not pretending to be anything that I'm not. So it's like I don't have to like, put up like this facade or persona. I just go out and do your myself. thing. I go out and do my thing. It's like if you want a picture, like of course I'll take a picture with you. Like my supporters are everything to me, and like you know. If you're, I'm making my music for a lot of myself, but I'm also making it for you too, to enjoy and find a home. So, you know, I want people to trust me as well when they see me to be like, cool, like let's grab a pic, let's bond. You know, I don't, I don't want to ever be like the weird guy. Just like, oh, <laughs> want no pictures. Like it's cool. Like we can grab a picture and, you know, I'm gonna go on with my day. It's not that. So if your fans want to meet you today, they have to show up to the Cafe Ladro down the hill from the yeah, Paramount. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's you're more be. than happy to hang out. <laughs> yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's going to be huge. Yeah, You've got exciting stuff in the works. I'm so excited for Cosmic to come out Thursday yeah, night. What's, like, the breakout song that you think will be your next single? I really don't know. I really am being so serious when I say, like, I'm not sure. It feels like everything on the project, like, in my eyes, there's not, like, a single skipper. There's not one song that's, like, that one's cool. Like, they all feel like they could be singles. Um, I don't cool. know. There's one called 315 that could be it. There's Dreams, there's Star, there's Mirror. I really don't know. It's going to be tough, but I'm just going to let the people kind of decide. Yeah, see what hits. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, you sound confident. You sound ready yeah. to go. Yeah. I'm excited. Cosmic Thursday, and we'll see you at the Paramount tonight with that. Camila Cabello. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Fozzie. Yep.